as tributes continue to pour in for ANC MP and former Energy Minister Tina Jomat Peterson. Those who know her well have rubbished the claims against her. Jomat Peterson and two other MPs have been accused of extortion by suspended public protector Usisiwe Mkobane's husband. She died at her Cape Town home on Monday, aged 59. The details around her death are still sketchy. ENCA's senior reporter Aisha Ismail reports. Feisty, militant, yet kind and compassionate are just some of the words used to describe the former Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries and Minister of Energy. She was the chair of Parliament's Police Portfolio Committee at the time of her death. Jumat Peterson was involved in student politics at the University of the Western Cape during the turbulent 80s. Those who studied with her recall her determination and commitment to fight for justice for all. We, we reconnected um, and it was a very healthy relationship in the sense that she, she was able to take advice. Uh, she never shied away from asking advice and uh, she stood up to people that um, others didn't stand up to. She was able to do so um, and uh, raise the uncomfortable questions and so I respected that uh, about her, that she could raise the issues without blinking an eye. And when, um, when the police used to appear before her in the committee, she would support the, the uh, inquisitorial approach uh, of members of the portfolio committee um, when I was there and while I was there. And so I had a lot of respect for her. Asked about the allegations against Jomat Peterson of extorting 600,000 rand from suspended public protector Busisiwe Mkwabani's husband to scrap the inquiry into her fitness to hold office, Kinner said there was more at play here. She is alleged to have conspired with ANC Chief Wapemi Majodina and Section 194 Inquiry Chairperson Richard Yankee. I don't want to go there. Um, and I was shocked when I saw the papers, but... Um I knew it couldn't be. I knew it couldn't be what was in those papers because Tina was never one who needed money. Tina gave money to the organizations um, and she gave of her own money to, uh, to organizations. As far as I know, when we had the community police forums coming to parliament, she paid for their lunches herself. I was alarmed that she paid for 150 lunches uh, which we and par Parliament couldn't afford to pay. Kinner says there was a sense that some journalists were out to get her. We have lost somebody who has dedicated her life to the service of the people uh, before 1994 and after 1994. She's a seasoned uh, lawmaker. Uh, she studied in the Northern Cape. She has been here for many years. She has served people in the province and nationally uh, in various capacities. Those close to Tina Jumat Peterson are calling for a thorough and independent investigation into her death. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.